Hey guys, Susanna here. Um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I'd do a Stitching with Sue's segment, which is something that I'm probably going to do a little bit more of in the future. I've got so many projects, personal projects that I want to do that I thought I'd turn on the camera and you can watch along with me. Um, this one is actually a um, an online class with Lisa Maddock from Forage. So you can, um, I'll, I'll link her uh, website below. Um, and in this one is the Woodlands class. You get these awesome um, cards, which is really good. And it shows you all bits and pieces. And then you get a, um, a transfer and um, these beautiful, beautiful threads, which um, she spe specially made for this um, Woodlands class. I've already used one of these. Ugh. So you get your bits and pieces. There's so many beautiful Woodland type of um, bits and pieces that you can grab. Such gorgeous, gorgeous thread. So you get those plus heaps of hours of footage um, and all stuff that she shows you how to do. Um, I'm combining my, if, if you have watched this channel, um, you know, and being subscribed to this channel for a little while, you know last year that I did, um, every month I did a block of the month and it was like a woodland animal. And I thought I wouldn't mind incorporating my woodland animals in with this. So I'm doing stuff in her style and, and I've also got some of these beautiful... I can't remember what type of these little panelings. I got it from my local quilt shop and she's a really cute. So I've got combined my artwork with this plus Lisa's ideas. So it's a bit of a mixture of everything. So I'll show you what I've done so far. Like she has different mushrooms and berries and oak leaves and all that kind of stuff. Um, and um, I'll just sort of show you what I've done. I'm using some of my French vintage finds in there. Um, this one is sort of, she had berries and then this mouse with the berries. So I'm gonna like do some cross stitch. For now, I'm just putting them down on some calico. And it's almost like crazy patchwork. So I'm just doing the base and then you put these onto a, um, a rectangle and then you slow stitch them and all that and you'll if you um, go onto her thing and get the online class she shows you exactly what you need to do so um, I'm just showing you my thing I can't um, do a tutorial because that's Lisa's so <clears throat> excuse me um, yeah so this is the the one with them it's got a couple of mice on there this is a gorgeous fabric that I got from Lisa as well and this one a few of them that one um yeah so that's the mouse one uh, this is the um the squirrel one now some of these block of the month kits i still have available in my etsy store all the digital stuff i have available in my etsy store and the actual kit kits where i've got these um i don't think I may have some squirrel one left I don't know but just check um, the actual kits are on my website which is linked below but the digital ones I'm actually going to put all of the Gigi kits on my Etsy store because I haven't done all of them so it's so cute I just love this little guy it was a fair bit of work cutting these out and put sticking them on and trying to get them all in in piece I found this beautiful bit of um ribbon along there it's just got a squirrel on there so it's just so cute so that's my squirrel this is my um hedgehog i mean i put so much work into these and i was going to put them into a journal but i thought i don't i don't want to waste all that work so another beautiful um lisa fabric and see i I'd done all that and I'd stitched all this. This is all hand done, even though this looks like it's done by machine. And then this other panelling I got from my 
um, my local quilt shop. I can't, you'll probably get to ask me, but just go to your quilt shop and just have a look for woodland panelling. Um, here's my deer. So all these I will have on my Etsy store if you want, wanting to have a look at the digitals. So at the moment I'm just putting them on and then you sew it onto something and you do you sort of do sewing stuff around it. It's quite detailed, so it will take me quite a while. I love how he's turned out. So these are still these are finished ones, like as in the background, and these are all still pinned. Here's a mean cute. And that's my um, the raccoon that I did using all beautiful vintage fabric. So here's my fox. That was a hard one to try and incorporate. And then you know, of course, if you've seen my original, it um, it, it was only sort of half a face, but I had to try and incorporate it, and I cut off the nose. This is so gorgeous. The little poppies, and I've got this beautiful old doily that's got a poppy on there. And I thought I'll put some berries in this one as well. So pretty. And I've tried to put in a little bit of this sage green through. That's the sort of the, the commonality amongst all of them. Here is my little, it's a, it's a robin. I've got um, a bird, bird in a nest. Um, I've got quite a few of those actual kits left. So, um, yeah, these are the beautiful fabrics I got from Lisa, that one, that one, that one. But I've, I do have kits on that, or how I got that done. So I've got the background done, I just need to sew him on. And then this one, um, I think I might have one more kit. Um, it's, it was quite detailed, so... Um, yeah, this is probably the busiest block that I've got, but I just love my little bunny and I love the way that this bunny, this bee was sort of over here a little bit and I thought they look similar. Here's my owl and I've got this beautiful fabric from Lisa as well. I love the way that it's sort of, you know, it's all ripped and looking like that. I originally didn't have an owl on there, but then I found this beautiful owl fabric and then I love these little eyebrows I'm if anybody who's from Australia who knows our one of our Prime Ministers Johnny Howard so I call I'm called this little um, he had really quite bushy eyebrows so I've called this owl Johnny <laughs> and then last but not least I'm still gonna do a few more I'm gonna do some acorns and all that kind of stuff um, here are my mushrooms and I love the way that Lisa does the mushrooms she makes them with the Suffolk, the Suffolk puffs or the yo-yos whatever you call them so that's something that I wanted to do I did have a whole heap of buttons and embroidery and everything sewn on here and when I took it off the purple stayed there but by, by the time I put some of these you know like I'll put get your vintage yo-yo yo -yo, so that's a vintage one and so that on there it'll cover some of that um, I've got this awesome unlike all the others I've got this awesome background um, it didn't quite have enough it's got a bit of a cut out here but by the time I you know stitch that down and sew him down I was arming and ahhing because it's a bit of a out, out of perspective so I just think the snail is really close and the, that's why I put him sort of like on top of the hill because he's a bit further back and he, the, the, um, the snail's a little bit closer. So, because um, I thought it was just too good not to use, but the snail looks absolutely massive. But um, I just could not use it. And so this all had embroidery all the way along there and I sort of cut, cut it out. It was hard to cut them, but I just think figured when this is finished it's going to be hanging up so um, I've got a space in my hallway which sort of I sort of rotate um, I've got another um, like rotate my quilts um, I've got another class which I went to um, Lisa Maddock again um, which is um, the birdhouse one so I'm working on both of those so um, when I've got the stitch with Sue's thing 
I'll probably be working on some of my um, online you know classes that I've done so um, any of the work is just my interpretation of Lisa's online class so it's not going to be any teaching it's just sort of stitch along um, you know with what I'm doing so today I've got quite a few of these I've got a few few smaller ones as well that I've got to work on I'm going to do some other bits and pieces so she actually had about 14 round circle she had one that sort of circle and then she had another one so I'm sort of combining all all the information that she gives us in the course um, to make my own and that's that's what Lisa really likes she loves seeing people's interpretation of her work so I'm just gonna get some of these and I've got all these old yo-yo some old some these are old I like the old ones and uh, that one and that one and I think these are newer fabric but I thought having the the red and the white and I thought I'm gonna have some white and some red so um, perfect for using for these little these little guys because the bottom of them looks like you know the bottom of a yo-yo I mean a, a mushroom so I won't use all of these on there. Um, probably going to use some on some of the other circles as well. But I will just figure out how many I'm going to put on here. Um, I really do like this guy. I think. Just wondering if he needs to go down a little lower just so it looks like it's really close. There we go. I think that's better. Mainly I've got the, the red ones on here. I might quite like that one. There's one there and there's that one there. Sort of have a look. She's over there in little clumps there. They're rather cute. Uh, and I'm going to have it's a bit of a bigger one. I might have that guy come in there. Maybe with one of those here. Because I need to hide. I need to hide these bits. Just gonna cut off some bits. This is just from a old. I got this bias. Had some old bias binding on there. I think it needs three, three and three. I'd like to be able to really get the circle happening like that and maybe even have the stuff coming out of there. Where's my pink cushion? There we go. I mean I'm doing the decorating before I even am doing I think it needs to go in in there. I want it coming out of that. Like that. It's pretty 
cool. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. It's the same. to cover that whole way. Put this one down. Grab this. Stop it in. to cover that that um, purple bit now and that one fits in there too I'm going to put that one there just sort of having three is good okay and then that one longer stick it in and that's just sitting there for now and then you've got to do some um, might get some of this ribbon and gather it up just a little bit for some of the frongs that sort of you know how they have those little frongs I think that'd be really cute and then this one a wee bit you want to pin that with that okay put that over there I saw some of them. Some of them that went that way as well. Looks rather cute. Sort of manipulate the yo yo's. performing surgery I tell you I'd like to make them a little smaller on the bottom as well um, but that 
the moment this is sort of the layout where I want to go. mushrooms and then I'm going to um, like I did with this yeah, like that um, you know do some embroidery and all that kind of stuff on the bottom it's so cute so I like that so this is just giving me a bit of an idea what I might do is you know take a photo of that um, and then I've got to come back and actually stitch down. Might do a bit of a running stitch around the edge. Normally I don't do them. Like on these ones, I've, I haven't done anything because I've got to do a stitch to hold them actually down. Um, but all these ones have got, you know, bits where I can sew. Whereas this is just one big picture. Probably stitch down along there and then stitch around. So I probably use some of this toadstool. It's so pretty. Can't make it. So there you go, guys. That's my um, start on my very first um, do some stitching with Sue's. Um, stitch with Sue's. I got a new one of these as well so um, my other one I lost and um, my, my other fancy one even though I do have other other uh, scissors I wanted a nice fancy one so um, I'm sure I'll probably be using some of this to do some of the grass or whatever it is that you use these are just beautiful so even if you're overseas um, you know because it's a online class uh, you get it instantly and, you, and it's a way of going to Lisa's classes without actually having to come all the way to Australia so um, I'm going to probably utilize the rest of these on some of the other blocks as well so I'll just um, keep you posted and updated on how I'm going to be doing these okay guys um, I'll catch you later and I'll promise I will do a little bit more on I've still got to do my bird and I've actually got to finish my June um, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery <laughs> so um, yeah got a few things but I've just haven't haven't been I've got as you can see I've got a sore arm and I really haven't been feeling up to doing a great deal um, yeah so been a bit slack on some of my videos so I thought I'd just show you what I'm doing behind the scenes um, and I've also got some other stuff awesome kits and and stuff planned for next year as well which I'm doing ahead of time <laughs> okay I'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching guys bye